hello collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies in intent immediately and prominently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it uh, be okay Judgment is final. So let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have an empress here that's going through some type of loss. Someone is about to be in poverty for trying to hold on, trap someone's uh, investment. Someone could have been paying another person behind the scenes to cause you a lot of losses. Uh, someone is being re um, exposed as very toxic, very jealous, very envious, unstable, someone very manipulative, someone with a lot of karmic and toxic ways. Um, someone is going to have to move on with a karmic family either because they're not receiving something or something is not going in their way or in their favor. Excuse me. There could be some type of separation going on. This could be a mother figure that's been trying to block two people from coming together because she wants a man to stay in some type of toxic relationship. Uh, on the surface, the relationship looks very well put together these two look like an ideal couple but behind the scenes these two are on two different planets they don't even like each other the man may not even feel fulfilled in the relationship but the woman wants him to stay because there's something that's really appealing about how they look together in the public eye they look like the ideal couple but this is all for facade this is all pretending so um this could be her mo mother that's been doing a lot behind the scenes who have been paying like a king of swords to make sure that you know someone stays stuck I need you to trap this person. I need you to block their work. I need you to make sure no one sees them. But as you can see, collective, whatever you've invested in, it is turning into a ten of pentacles. And this is by way and means and judgment of the spirit realm for you to have what it is that's yours. Because this could be something that you have absolutely invested a lot of time in. If you don't just wake up and get from the seven of pentacles to the ten of pentacles overnight. You started in the five of pentacles uh, as an empress energy. You invested in your abundance. So you are leaving from the cold you have a lot of passion and desires for what it is that you're doing and you're willing to invest what it is that you need to invest whether that's time money energy uh whatever it is right attention you are investing it into your desire your aspirations your dreams and that is why you are achieving this ten of pentacles and being able to move on and seal onto common waters you may even have wish fulfillment in a collaboration or a union in the future and the ancestors want you wants you to keep your mind on wants you to keep your mind on positive things. Excuse me. But there is a woman behind the scenes. This could be someone's mother, someone's wife, whoever that has been working really hard to block you, stop you, destroy you, uh, alter your image. There's something about defama uh, defamation, slander, and things like that. That someone is very bitter, very bruised, very I don't know what this is. People at this age should not be pre uh, partaking in things like this. They should not be in this kind of energy so it's really disheartening to see a woman a whole empress out here just being very malicious cold-hearted and it's just i'm telling you it's the end of the road for her like someone is just very cold-hearted they don't care what it is they do to other people like someone is very vain and void um and it has a lot to do with some type of money i don't know if like she's in a relationship or her child is in a relationship that has a lot of money and she does not want the man moving or leaving i hear someone say i'm trying to protect my what's mine i'm trying to protect my family something like that it's not about the family it's about the money she doesn't want to lose the money because she knows once this person decides to move on it's the end of abundance for her because there could be something where it's like a masculine was the one that invested all of the energy, the work, and everything into a business to get it to where it is. And now she's worried or the whole family is worried. The whole family is worried because a tower is about to take place due to the fact that a masculine, an emperor may know the truth. Um, yeah, a, a king of cups 
uh, knows the truth or an emperor knows the truth about what has been going on. And he's sticking to his gun and deciding to move on with his life. Nobody knows where he's going, but wherever he's going, he says, as long as it's not with these people, it's not in this institution, he's moving on. They could, they could be planning to send someone to you from an institution or someone uh, maybe coming towards you to get you, to confuse you. Uh, what is it I'm trying to say? They want to like manipulate you into going into a toxic relationship from your past. So you've been moving forward with your life, healing, doing the things that you need to do to balance yourself out. You know, work towards your destiny, and your purpose. They want to come in, convince you that you need to go back to the past. The past misses you. They've healed. They've changed. They haven't. They're still toxic as always because if they weren't, this devil would not be out here. Um. So... It's a whole lot going on behind the scenes of a lot of you you're not aware of, but just stay calm. Don't do anything out of the norm. The universe is taking care of it. Your ancestors are all over it. There's some type of situation that's going on in current energy, current time that is being taken care of. But this uh, mother figure, white figure, whoever this is, baby mama has been investing a lot into blocking someone else's ten of pentacles. But this is exactly what's about to happen. The ten of pentacles is going to be given to you. The universe is about to pour into you a lot. A woman may be out here bitter because a man has a lot of emotions and a lot of loyalty to someone else. So it's almost like, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone very karmic, very toxic, they don't pour into you and you end up meeting someone else. Not to say you're cheating on them, but you end up meeting someone else. Um, and you know, they just bring life into you to make you really happy. I'm telling you to bring life into you to make you really happy. But the whole time you're in some type of toxic situation that you've been holding on to for a long time. And you know, in order for you to balance things out in your life, you're going to have to put a stop to this relationship, this toxic situation and give an offer to someone else, um, that you feel content with where, whether it's in business or in romance. Um, but then you have that karmic person behind the scenes and they're giving you that evil eye, that bombastic side eye. Is it not over my dead body? Are you going to go be with someone else? Um, so they become a narcissist or they, they expose their narcissistic side because people don't just become narcissists. They, honey, it's a lifelong position that they commit to. Uh, so they become a full-blown narcissist and try to manipulate you into seeing them as wish fulfillment, as someone that's easy to be with, as someone that's angelic, a temperance energy, and that they genuinely love you. But the whole time they're rejecting you, they just want to stay with you because there's some type of finances involved in that. And the moment you try to balance things in your life, here goes the cuckoo bird coming out, trying to act like they are all wholesome, family-oriented, innovative, very creative, very, uh, what, diplomatic, heal, and all of that, but the whole time they are not. So there's a masculine going through this behind the scenes, uh, but he's still walking away. This man has already decided. He says, sure, I'm, I'm out of here. You can keep pretending with yourself, but I already know who you are, Jezebel. Or, you know, I don't think that people, I, I just tend to call karmic women and karmic men Jezebels. It's not anything like where I know like someone is being a Jezebel. But then again, she does have the devil after her. So sis could be out here being a Jezebel. But this man is saying, chuck those deuces up, I'm out. Um, and it has some type of, you know, it's leaving her feeling some type of ways. Like, I've been toxic with you for um, 10 years. Why are you trying to take a new path? Why all of a sudden are you going within trying to take some type of new direction? When did you become a scholar? When did you start introspecting? Where did you find all this strength to heal and balance yourself out and become the man of authority in your life or become business savvy and decide to balance yourself out? When did this all happen? You've always been a narcissist with me. That's because different people bring different sides of you out. So she may have brought the karmic side of this man out and maybe you brought the genuine side or the heal side. Maybe someone has been healing behind closed doors and now he's choosing to live in the upright and balance things out in his life. So... Baby, you can't be mad at that. Uh, she's mad, mad. You can't be mad when people decide to heal and balance their, their lives out. You know someone does not have good intentions for you when they get pissed off because you're trying to take the right path or take a different path in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether the path the person is taking is right or wrong, it's your choice. It's your choice. Why are you so bothered by it? That's because she's codependent. With that devil car out here, this is a codependent person. And because she's codependent, she wants to trap someone with her. So her trying to while she's trying to trap someone with her, she's trying to block someone else's abundance. Lord have mercy. This woman is going through emotions behind the scenes. I don't think she's ever expressed this amount of emotions. I'm telling you. 
and it's not going anywhere. Everything she's plotting is a, it's a failure. The universe is making sure if she's plotting to take you out, trying to cause you losses, trying to cause you disappointments, heartbreaks, and things like that, it's all a failure. There may even be like a community or like a mother figure that wants to wants you to see her daughter and a man together. I don't even think you get two flying Fs about these people. You may not even know these people. And I don't know why they're this invested. It's maybe because they know someone is interested in you. So it's uh, it's like we're going to hurt her feelings or we're going to hurt his feelings. If this is a same way situation. It's like uh, we're going to hurt his feelings. We're going to hurt her feelings. Let's take a picture of these two together and put it on social media. Meanwhile, the whole time you don't even have a social media page. Maybe besides uh maybe tiktok youtube instagram wherever you have like for me if for example the only social media i use is youtube so i wouldn't know <laughs> i'm just using me as an example i wouldn't know if any of this was going on because i'm not on tiktok i'm not on instagram facebook i'm on youtube only um I, not to say i don't have pages on those platforms I have pages that maybe I made some time back, but I don't use them. I don't even have access to them. So I wouldn't be able to get on there and be able to say, oh my gosh, Johnny and Elizabeth are together. Oh my God, bless my heart. I'm so heartbroken. I'm clutching my invisible spiritual purse and things. Not, and that's not even me. So I'm just using me as an example. You all know I'm single as a prinkle and not looking for nothing but minding my business and learning my ABCs because people think I'm illiterate out here. So we, we is going to learn our ABCs and learn our English. You know, maybe someday I'll learn how to say English. Anyways, um, I wouldn't know if this was like, for example, me. I wouldn't know any of this is going on because one, I'm not on those platforms to see who's getting married Who's with who? Who got a car? I wouldn't care in the first place. Okay, who got married? Is that's good for them? That's how I would see that, right? It's like, oh, I'm so glad. Like these two look happy together. Thank goodness. You know, we need more. We we need more happy married people out here, right? Exactly. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Re. Anyway, someone is leaving, maybe leaving a, 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 their situation to come cause you problems and it's leading to more problems for them. This woman, I don't know what it is that's about to happen to you, but it's not going to be pretty. But this is karma. You're about to go through some type of uh, death, rebirth, regeneration, some type of cycle. It's not going to be pretty. But this is for the universe to put you in your place. You've been trying to put someone else in their place and the universe said, you know what? You know what, Ashley? We're going to put you in your place. Since you don't know where it is, you think you have some type of authority to temper with other people's life, their abundance, connections, it offers, and things like that. You must not want this story to come out. But the universe is about to hand you a ASS whooping that you are not going to forget. Oh, baby, you ain't going to forget it. When you come out, you're going to be a whole brand new stinking person. Rip you through the plastic bag or rip you out the plastic bag. You're feeling brand new, girl. You're about to be feeling brand stinking new, okay? Because when you go through this here, you go through this here, baby. When you come out, you'll say, mm, I need to reconsider before I do that to that person. I need to reconsider before I do that to Johnny. I need to reconsider before I do that to Beth. I need to reconsider before I do this ever again. I ain't, mm -mm. And if somebody comes to you and try to talk you into what? Doing something malicious? Oh, Ashley, you're going to be like, get away from me. I is healed now. I is delivered. Uh huh. I don't like comics anymore. You're going to be out here like Andrew Caldwell. Hopefully you will be delivered. on like him. Anyways, but you're about to go through heartbreak disappointments, right? I don't know if you're trying to force someone in or keep someone stuck in some type of situation. But whatever this collaboration was, whether with you in a community, your partner, ex-partner, it's over. You see this death here? It's the death of a community partner on, up with you to cause other people millions based on a lie. Um, so it's about to be a lot of disappointments and heartbreaks for you because this emperor here, oh baby, he said he wants to smoke. He wants to smoke. You, the daughter, the queen of wands, everybody. He said he wants to smoke. He don't care. You, are, baby, everything is being illuminated about your lies, your deceit, your toxic way, karmic way. This community, they know the truth now. You have been pretending, whether you're the wife, the mother, whoever, you have been pretending all the toxicity, all the lies, the jealousy, the maliciousness. Everything is being illuminated to a community. And you're about to be going 
through it. And I tell and I'm telling you, it's not by means of anyone doing anything to you. It's the universe balancing it out. So don't come out here being a uh, um angry being spiteful thinking that someone did something to you behind the scenes no it's the ancestors the universe putting in that work because you were putting in that work on somebody else they said it's your time they said it's your time they said as above so below so whatever you've been manifesting it is now here in the physical so this is what you've been manifesting hey now this is what you came for you had a dream okay like martin luther king as if his dream didn't have nothing to do with destroying other people you i just heard the word bigot you're a bigot been out here paying for people's privacies to be invaded being out here paying for people to do all kinds of nonsense out here bribing girl everything is about to be exposed this community, baby, they don't want nothing to do. I'm telling you, everything is about to be exposed. People are about to be having an epiphany about you and your community. So, God dang, this is what Ashley be doing behind the scenes? Yes, folks, this is what Ashley's been doing behind the scenes. This could be somebody's wife, somebody's mother that's been going above and beyond to destroy another person's life, block them from receiving an offer because she thinks someone is beneath her. I don't know if you all in this community are the same where you think that people are beneath you because of your complexion. No, nobody gives two Fs about your complexions. Get over yourself. Nobody cares how much money you have in your bank accounts. Get over yourself. Not everybody out here is getting married for money. Get over yourself. That's low vibrational and insecure as hell. I don't care what level of society I'm in. I ain't getting married to you for no money. Okay? Okay. That's that BS kind of... Uh, I, do you... That, mother, have you heard of Peter? Peter who... Peter, they're great. Great where? Oh, mother, how many times do I have to tell you? Peter is the son of irrelevant and irrelevant. There are billionaires. Whole time they got their money from stealing from people. Get over yourself. The rest of us folks, we common folks, we don't care how much money you have. We ain't getting married to you if we don't like you. Okay? Okay, sorry to break your heart, Elizabeth, Ashley, Jessica, Brandon, whoever. We don't care. You and your money can kick rocks and throw peppers. Okay, you and your money can oh, kick rocks and throw pepper. This was coming out in the reverse. I am going to put it out in the reverse. It don't matter. The, the message is going to come out like it's supposed to anyways. I'm telling you, this man is leaving this family. <laughs> They're trying to hold on to someone's seven of pentacles. They want, to, want you to stop investing in something. They want you to be hidden. They want to have control over something that does not belong to them. Everything they've been doing to keep you stuck is being exposed about these people. Um, and this man here, he could be out here in the reverse because he's leaving a family. He's leaving a situation. And I'm not thinking that he's in the reverse because he's someone malicious. Someone has gone through some type of death and rebirth, but he's done it behind closed doors. May not be fully healed, may still have his old, some of his old toxic ways to him. And if you connect with this man, maybe give him time to heal because something about him, he, he needs help too. He needs some healing. Okay, but this family here, whatever you all took is being taken from you. You're losing it. If you've been out here being malicious to people because you feel better than other people holding your noses up in the air, talking about, I smell S H I T. Elizabeth, do you smell what I smell? Here go, Elizabeth. Yes, mother, I suddenly do. Okay, listen, you are about to be smelling like it too. Not only are you going to smell it, you're about to feel it and maybe even taste it. Holy, because that brother, he said he's walking away. This collaboration with you all is over. He's going somewhere else to celebrate. I've been seeing the number 3344 a lot. There's some type of uh, celebration that's about to take place, some type of wedding. Uh, hopefully the wedding, yeah, some type of coming together, some type of celebration is about to take place. Some uh, two people could end up getting married, having a new beginning together, possibly uh, a queen of pentacles and I got like a Sagittarius or something but two people are about to get married and I don't know if this is the two people or these are the two people you all were trying to block yeah this man here baby if he was with a queen of wands before he's he's leaving he's moving on she's gonna have to move on she needs some healing he can't help her she can't help him this is like two karmic people together he was with her for her beauty she don't bring nothing to the table nothing but her looks and her legs um but he said he's moving on whatever this is baby i know i'm straightforward over here i don't say things to be malicious baby i just say things to be clear okay straight direct to the punch
okay um people may take it the wrong way but hey that's you you still got some fixing to do like myself here so if i say something you take it the wrong way that's your business to figure out anyways this uh king of pentacles here is balancing life out this could be this king of wands and his king of pentacles energy or you could have two masculines that are out here wanting to have some type of opportunity with you this man there's something about his lower energy that still needs to be balanced or it could just be that he's not part of this family anymore. He's moving on. Maybe he was the one that was investing into this family. And he's deciding, mm, I'm out. Chop those deuces. I want to go invest in something else or somewhere else. I want to build a genuine uh, empire with someone. Yeah, he wants to balance something out in his life. He wants to go on in here. We got the six out here. He wants to move on in heel, still onto common waters, elevate, ascend. You know, he's going for it. Be, uh, I want you all to thread with caution because there could be someone coming in to lay it on you thick. They want you to see them as your emperor um, so that they can beat your actual emperor to the punch. While your emperor is by, behind the scenes trying to balance something out with a karmic community that's been trying to block his forward movement, trying to set him up in all kinds of stuff. Yeah, trying to make sure he doesn't have wish fulfillment, uh, trying to keep him in some type of negative mindset, uh, pessimistic and all of that, not having wish fulfillment, uh, you know, just... Have this man in a low vibrational energy preventing him from self-actualizing so that he doesn't see something. Well, baby, this stuff is over. It is over. It's over, okay? This man may have skipped something um, that he is getting as far away from as possible. You as the actual Empress energy in the situation, you are going through some type of elevation and you could have skipped some type of plot to take you out by a group of people. They may be choosing to go for it again. Maybe they're coming up with a new plan. It's already dismantled. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you all are dismantled as we speak immediately and permanently. Judgment is final on that. Your enemies will never live to see a day where they have victory over you by all judgment and decision of the spirit realm. You will continue to elevate in life, okay? Anyways, uh, let me see. I want to thank you all for watching. Yeah, your enemies will always be in conflict. They want to bring you conflict. They're going through conflict. That five of pentacles is out here for a reason. They're going through conflict. Whoever has been behind the scenes trying to take from you, block you, stop you, destroy you, they're going through conflict. And they can keep trying to cause you conflict, baby. Guess what the ancestors, the universe has in store for you? Wish fulfillment, okay? And they can keep trying to block it, stop it, destroy it. But baby, the ancestor will always, listen, you have wish fulfillment. These people are out here trying to block your new beginnings because these are a bunch of narcissists that are, de that are dependent on what? To stop you. It's all because of jealousy. People feel intimidated by you. Some of the people that feel intimidated by you, you may not even know. Like, if you meet them, you'll be shocked. It's like, God damn, you're in your 60s and you're intimidated by someone in their teens, their 20s, their 30s. Like, we should have things to learn from you. You're too old for this nonsense. I should be able to come to you and ask you for advice. Here it is. Here it is. I cannot even ask you for advice because you're out here being a child. Are you freaking kidding me? You're having your freaking new beginning, Queen of Cups. You and your soulmate will be meeting in divine timing. You two resonate on the same frequency. You bring the inner child of this person out in a really beautiful way. And they know that he or she appreciates you. They may be very nostalgic about you. They are thinking a lot about you. And you two will be pouring into each other, more than likely moving on with your lives. Why are these people, why are these people are out here going through what? conflict competition okay competing with each other while the universe is causing havoc in their life by divine intervention anyways i am going to leave it here thank you for watching stay blessed and i appreciate you all for coming back and watching the channel as always stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now